And you look at this, and this is just two chapters of somebody's life. This isn't, we don't have his teenage years. We don't have his, his 20s. This is just one little chunk of time. I don't even know this could have been weeks. This could have been days. But you see the convoluted nature of, of how he both has the blessings, but also he has to live with the challenges as well. And I think what, we'd, what we often want to do is we want to just delete. We don't want to have this bottom row down here. When we say we're pursuing God's will, I want to be used by God. I want supernatural provision. I want supernatural miracles. I want to see the dead raised. I want miracle victories. I want supernatural transportation. And I want to hear the voice of God. That's what I think I should be getting when I pursue God's will for my life. That's, can I say that's sometimes what I feel like I deserve if I'm going to do it? If I'm going to quit my job or if I'm going to step out in faith, I feel like in my orphanness, I'm not saying this is right, but in my orphanness, I kind of feel like I'm due this. Now, that's a sermon in itself about entitlement and about un- misunderstanding what it means to do the work of God. But this, nobody says, you know what, I want to do God's will because I want to go and hide. And then I want to hide in a place that the provision runs out really quickly. And then I want to be taken to my new source of provision, who's close to death. And then actually she doesn't die, but the son dies. And then I want to be in anger and frustration. Then I'd like my own life threatened. And then I'd like to run in fear and hide. And I'd like God to say, what are you doing here? Like, that's, this is no one's ministry dream. But, you know, we've had some amazing speakers stand up here, and I think Heidi Baker probably is one of the best ones we've had. And boy, when she talks about suffering for God, she's talking about the reality of all of this. And she talks about the miracles as well but never at the expense of the reality of suffering for Jesus. Now, I'm not talking really about suffering for Jesus today. I'm not not talking about that. I know there are some missionaries in the room. I know there are some people who have a heart for that. I'm not talking about suffering for the gospel necessarily. What I'm talking about is wanting to debunk the fact that doing God's will means you're only up here and never down here. But also to debunk the myth that doing God's will means you are suffering constantly and there is no joy and no life and no fun in the kingdom. Because if you look at all of the best miracles that Elijah experienced, they all came came off the back of a dire challenge and need.